read a lot of books written by and about old school lifters and bodybuilders from the early 20th century. One of the pioneers of that era was George Hackenschmidt, a professional wrestler and strongman who popularized the bench press and hack squat. His strength was off the chart. He could lift a small horse off the ground and 276 pounds overhead with one hand. In his prime, Hackenschmidt was considered the strongest and best developed man in the world. Hackenschmidt also wrote several books on training. It's fascinating to read his work because you can find so many pearls of wisdom that still hold true today. We like to think that thanks to advances in medicine, nutrition and science, the modern human being is leaps and bounds ahead of the past generations. But then you realize people had the whole lifting and diet part figured out already a hundred years ago. If anything, your average man on the street was in better physical shape back then than he is today. One of the best, most applicable training tips Hackenschmidt gives in his book The Way to Live in Health and Physical Fitness is this, and I quote, After having ascertained the correct weight for every exercise, begin each movement, say five times, and increase the number by one every week. Thus, five one week, six the next, seven the next, etc until the prescribed number is reached. After that, begin afresh with a weight that is 5 pounds heavier for one arm exercises or 10 pounds for two arms. So what he's saying is start with a weight you can do for 5 repetitions, strive to add just one rep each week until you hit the upper end of the rep range you're using. Then you add 5 to 10 pounds to the bar and repeat. Despite its simplicity, this is one of the best pieces of training advice anyone could ever give you. Most people would balk at Hackenschmidt's suggestion because they want to make 10 pound weight increases every time they train, but except for ranked beginners, that is impossible. The rate of progress is much slower and we have to stay realistic if we want to keep improving for years, never mind decades. These minor rep and weight increases when repeated over months and years snowball into massive strength gains. This is also the main idea behind my Next Level Hockey Training 2.0 program. You start light and focus on setting personal bests week in, week out. One rep here, another rep there, five more pounds go on the bar, and you keep doing it over and over. Then, at the end of the 16-week program, you look back and realize you are now lifting weights you never thought were possible for you. So the main takeaway here is that making sustained progress in the gym comes down to small but frequent performance increases and staying consistent with it for a very long time. If it was good enough for the best developed strongman of his era, it's good enough for you. Thank you for watching, click the like button, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.